A defunct Soviet spacecraft that launched in 1972 is now plummeting back to Earth. It's called Cosmos 482. It was designed to land on Venus, but instead it has spent the past 53 years hovering in Earth's orbit because of a rocket malfunction. Now this piece of Cold War space history will crash land through the atmosphere. Your reporter Alan Janae spoke with a CU educated research scientist tracking Cosmos 482 and its long journey. And Alan, it's still unclear where it will come down. Yeah, it is unclear where it'll come down as well as when, although we do know more every hour. We are now within the window of time when Cosmos 482 is expected to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. The most likely time, about 1230 tonight after midnight. There it is out there, good old Cosmos 482, what looks like a lone light in the darkness of space, something from an old sci-fi movie. But it has its fans. I'm Dr. Shayla Mutchler. I'm a research scientist. Dr. Mutchler of Space Environment Technologies is one of them, along with two of her colleagues. They are fascinated. So this is what you guys do in your spare time. I, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Cosmos 482 was put together over 50 years ago with big hopes. It was supposed to be a probe that went to Venus and actually landed on the surface. And when it uh, tried to burn or make a maneuver to actually escape Earth's gravity field, it was not successful in that, and it remained in Earth's orbit. A weird orbit, very low at times, making it oddly useful for space weather experts to track satellites like Cosmos. As space weather fluctuates, their orbits get perturbed. And it's important that we understand when the orbits are going to be perturbed so that we can prevent collisions in space. But it's coming down. On Colorado, we wondered? No, it is not. Yeah. So we can actually definitively say that right now. Other spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere have flamed out and broken apart in dramatic fiery light shows. We're not expecting it to come apart much. It, it's possible it could break up into a couple pieces, but we still expect those pieces to make it to the surface. Because the probe was built to survive Venus's intense heat and pressure. Earth is kind of a, a walk in the park compared to Venus. Each passing hour, they know more about where it might re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This map shows the potential paths predicted earlier in the evening. It's still a big swath over the whole globe. You've got pieces of India, China, Europe. Ability to see it. It's pretty far off, honestly. But as it takes its sentimental journey home, Dr. Mushler might still go out for a look. Somebody's going to miss little old Cosmos 482, and it's you guys. It's honestly one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the probe is not nuclear powered, so there's no worry about nuclear contamination. Most of the rocket fell apart upon launch years ago, so what is left behind is a half ton titanium shielded donut looking thing that you wouldn't want clunking you on the head, to put it unscientifically. But the chances of that happening, even for people in that area of the predicted path, are very, very low. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Well, that's good news. <laughs> We're glad to hear that. All right, Alan, thank you so much. Fascinating.